How's it going everyone? It's Sam. I've been looking for good smaller cap cryptos or mid cap cryptos for a while. You know, I'm majorly, 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 I'm majorly in Bitcoin, but I'm always looking for smaller cryptos. And uh, I, I look for a couple different things. One, I want to find a crypto that I think is in a hot category or one that's undervalued, one that hasn't pumped in a while, because a lot of the time we'll see like, okay, all of a sudden AI explodes, then everyone looks at AI and then the people in AI maybe shift their money over to memes and then memes explode and then they shift their money over to gaming and then gaming explodes. And we haven't seen gaming or gambling move in a while. It's been pretty boring. Uh, the other thing I look for are projects that are either brand new, they have a lot of hype, or projects that have been working for a long time uh, and pushing through the bear market. Now, those have different benefits, but I think the companies that make it through a bear market, first of all, probably have some good revenue, right? They probably are making some good money. Uh, they have an actual product. Two, they have people that use them, right? They have people that continuously use them and like them and are probably continuously going to use them in the future. And three, they have a decent team that knows how to put together a project more than just putting up a page, right? So that's why I want to talk to you today about Bet Fury. So Bet Fury or Bet Fury is a gambling project. <clears throat> it's already, I, I want to say this, it's been here for four years. It's made it through a bear market and it's $82 million in market cap right now. So they're not a micro cap, they're a small cap. Now they've been moving recently in the last year, they're up 41%, but the majority of that has been coming in the last month. Actually, when we just look at the last month, they're up significantly from 0 0.017 to 0 0.023. And this is at the same time when Bitcoin's gone sideways, even down a little bit. Now I, I saw some interesting things that happened recently for them that they've done, the, the, the team has done. So I wanted to bring some attention to this. Now they are a partner of the channel. I'm gonna leave links to this underneath the video in case you wanna check this out. But again, it's a gambling crypto. Now, what does this mean? Well, it means that they have a product that people continuously use. And they also have staking features. They have done some interesting things with their tokenomics recently. They have a large following over on Twitter. Right, they're followed by Wellchain, Biswap, and BitGet Wallet, and a lot of other people as well. They joined in November 2020 and have posted 6,200 times. So if I'm doing my math right, that's just about three years, three and a half years, right? That means that they posted five times a day, something like that, for the last uh, three and a half years, which means that they are putting in work during this bear market, right? They are continuously posting, doing giveaways, doing all types of things. Now, recently they updated um, their tokenomics. They updated some interesting things that I want to hit on, but they have a token, BFG token, and it was launched June 21st of 2021. Now, this wasn't the worst time to launch because we had a pump in the fall, but uh, I mean, they didn't have much of the last bull market to go off of, right? They launched, they probably had some token unlocks, they came back up, they pumped towards the peak of the market, and then, you know, they fell during the bear market. Now, they only fell about 60, 70%, which honestly isn't bad for a new cryptocurrency, especially during the bear market. Now, the team also locked up 20% of their tokens. They locked them up for three years, which I do think signals that they are focused on the long term, like they are in this for the long term, which is something that I already kind of covered in the fact that they've been posting for years on Twitter and then continuing to grow. But they have locked up, like I said, a significant amount of their tokens. Also, the token price just put in a higher high. As you can see, after they launched and we went to the bear market, it was lower high after lower high after lower high. But then it kind of hit the same point right around 0.19 four times. And then we just broke through that with really good price performance in about the last month. So that is quite bullish from a technical uh, from a technical perspective. But the primary goal of this token was uh, the platform profit sharing and passive earnings for the holders. The initial utilities included 
gaming on the platform and sports betting. Gradually, the project scaled and the number of collaborations increased, providing additional utilities for the token, including exchange options and additional income opportunities for users. So they actually ran out of tokens to mine too, which is a good thing. That means that there's not currently more and more inflation. Tokens were mined through user gameplay. One BFG token mined by the user meant one BFG token for the team in parallel. As more BFG utilities emerged, they added new value to the token. Simultaneously with the mining process, the primary utility of the BFG token was launched, revenue share. When users became BFG token holders, they began to participate in the platform's profit distribution mechanic. That's cool. I like when they do this. Now 100% of the iGaming revenue goes to buy back and support pay the uh, stakers in the staking pool. They also have non-gaming revenue, non-i-gaming revenue, uh, which goes to buy back the token, which is really cool too because it decreases the circulating supply, which increases the token price. Now, they concluded the mining on June 13, 2023. And if we look at when the price started to go up, okay, June 13, 2023, that was within a few months of the eventual bottom. So... Uh, Bitcoin continued to move up in 2023, but this, you know, kind of went back and forth. They finished mining about two months later, we hit bottom. And since then, it's up about 100%, maybe 80%, 90%. A lot of that coming recently as well. And yeah, this is pretty exciting to see some uh, wind in the sails again. Also, they started this uh, BFG burning. As you can see, over 33% of the token has already been burned, and the team has adopted a new strengthening deflationary strategy, including BFG burn and lock. Since BFG tokenomics has changed, we are introducing an efficient mechanism for redeeming tokens from the market. So they use, like I said, they use funds from the platform's revenue streams to redeem BFG or buy back BFG tokens. This reduces the amount in circulation. So they do this um, with the revenue streams, including staking BFG from the BetFurry team, crypto staking penalty fees, crypto swap fees, uh, borrowing liquidation and fees, fee futures fee and STBFG early withdrawal fee. You can read more about this with the links underneath the video, but they also give APY. So if you want to stake, you can get some of the rewards Recently, they posted this BFG tokenomics deflationary strategy. This was an update just two days ago. And in here, they say that the new BFG tokenomics allow users to track the distribution of a team's tokens across multiple streams. They will be located at public addresses, demonstrating a movement towards the highest transparency. I like that. I like when teams are transparent. Now, a couple other details you should know. They have about 67,000 holders, which is a large number for a token this size. That's a lot of holders. And they also have a lot of tokens that they burn every single month. So every single month they go through and publish publish how many tokens they're burning. Last month it was three, almost 3.2 million tokens. And after a long time of this, it really does add up. They also show how much they make in revenue because they they pay out every single day the stake token holders. Now, this is anywhere between 40 and 45,000 for the last 10 days each day, which, I mean, that puts them on pace for like $15 million throughout the year. And this just gets paid out to staked token holders. They also say they have around 4 million registered users as well. So this is all quite bullish. And really, I think it's a good thing that they show a lot of this data. Now, let me know your thoughts on this underneath the video. If you want to check them out, there are links underneath the video. You can, you can go buy their token as well if you want uh, over on pancake swap on buy swap on baby swap and they did say that they are considering more centralized exchanges as well and that could always help move the token up in the future as well as more people get access to the token and there's more eyes on it now let me know your thoughts on this underneath the video uh, the team also has tokens that are locked up for a very long time i saw like uh four to eight year lockup period. So yeah, they are in it for long term, as you can see from the fact that they've been posting for you know three and a half years. Now to be clear, whenever you invest in a cryptocurrency, there is risk. So make sure you understand the risk before buying any tokens or using the website. Make sure that you do your research because that's always very important. 
Let me know your thoughts though. Thank you so much to Bet3 as well for partnering on the channel. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.